All right, dude, what's up, man? So, I don't have the barrel. I, I can't find it. Um, I know it's somewhere here. I just, my garage is a mess. Um, I don't know what you're using uh, to press in the barrel. However, hopefully I can help you. If you have any more questions, let me know. Um, anyways. I got these two bars right right here. Got these off of uh, AK Builder. And um, I mean, these things have gone through a lot of shit. Look at this. Anyways, this is the barrel press kit that they sell. It's like 90 bucks, but you can make it. I mean, if you have the resources to make it, I'm sure you can just make it. You know, it's basically like two fucking bars or whatever so I don't have the barrel but I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it so you set these on your press Roger here hold on give me a second actually you're not gonna be able to see it all right so you set these down right and then what's gonna happen is that this is your rear sight block right here, okay? Now, what you wanna do, and I don't have anything to point, is you wanna, once you put the barrel in, make it snug, make sure it's straight. You're gonna wanna use, without using the Robert Forbes tools, because like I said, this is a, your whole issue is you don't have it is you wanna put this, this lip right there. See that solid piece? And then same piece right up here. And you, what you want to do is you basically want to put it on like that. Now your barrel should be coming up like this, the chamber. So what you wanna do at that point is just keep pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. And then obviously the rear side block is gonna go up, right? So this is what it essentially would look like. Um, it should look like this. So that the barrel has clearance to go. Now, like I said, once you push down the barrel, this is essentially coming up and boom, you're good to go. Then your other situation is this gas block here. With this gas block, same thing is you're gonna see that same thing. Now, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult, but as long as you're able to, you know, take your time, so you're gonna basically want it. I know this is kind of a horrible example, but this is the best I can do right now. It's like that. And then, obviously your barrel is already, your chamber is gonna be up. So just put um, a stack of pennies, right? All right, so just put a stack of pennies right up top and then keep pushing it, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Now, one way that I would um, recommend you gauging where you should stop on the, on the gas block would be grab once you once you put the, once this is installed, the rear sight block, throw the uh, gas tube on, lock it, and guide it. That'll give you your proper length on where you're, you need to stop with the gas block. That's a neat little trick I found out. I mean, I'm sure it's been discovered before a lot of people came, you know. No one ever told me this shit, dude. Everything I know is because I've learned it from... Uh, previous uh, either mistakes or I was just stuck 
and I was just trying to think of different ways on how to come up with the shit, dude. Um, anyways, yeah, that's what I would do. Same thing, just follow the same procedure for the front sight block, front sight base. If you're attaching the bipod, because um, I forgot you said RPK, put the bipod on, and then what you're going to want to do is... When you put this in between your press, you're gonna open the bipod, you close it, but when it's down and you're pressing it up, um, bring the bipod out, okay? Because if you keep it closed like that, it's not going to, you're not gonna be able to press it um, correctly on the press. It'll give you a lot of uh, pushback and I learned that because I almost broke my bipod. Uh, without even paying attention to that. I just got carried away that I was basically almost done populating the barrel um, So yeah extend it out and you'll see what I'm talking about and then use uh, a stack of pennies again Once you bring the once you're pressing on the the front side base Because it's going to be facing this way at this point just use a stack of pennies up top and then same thing once you actually hit the actual barrel and you can't come out that's when you're going to flip it the other way so now the chamber is going to be sticking up like that. Same procedure on these. Put the uh, uh, front side base, hold on to the bipod, like hold on to it up, and then just press it down until they both mesh and meet together. Um, yeah, I, if I had the barrel, I'd show you. I just, I, I, I don't know where it's at, dude. Um, it's somewhere here. But yeah, hopefully this helps. Let me know. Um, yeah. Cool, man.